What's up guys, Curtis here from Metal Darts. Today, bring you a little vlog. So, today is Thursday the 14th of September. Tomorrow in the morning, I'm gonna be heading up to Bridlington on the train. Uh, it's gonna take about five hours, give or take, a couple of stops. Um, I'm gonna be playing and also doing some documentary filmmaking in the British Open. So, um, also, a little potential bit of commentary. Who knows? Um, so yeah, uh, I wasn't going to go to this event originally. I went last year with Jack, the darts referee, but my idea was I always wanted to go to a WDF event, Bridlington, that area of Yorkshire, home to a lot of wildlife. Um, Bempton Cliffs, if any of you guys know it, um, are from the area, famous for sort of puffins um, in the sort of puffin season. Uh, as you can see, there, that photo was taken at Bempton Cliffs, and also that photo was taken at Bempton Cliffs uh, by myself. So I'm into my sort of wildlife, and the excuse was to go up to Bridlington to go to the cliffs, uh, but also play some darts. This year, uh, I'm not going to the cliffs, or at least I don't think I will. Um, I'm going strictly for darts and video making purposes. So, excuse my hair, I just had a shower. Um, so yeah, I'm going up to the British Open on the Friday night. I'm playing in an ADC-affiliated competition run by East Coast Darts. Um, and then on the Saturday and Sunday is the British Classic and the British Open. I'm going to be taking my phone, which I'm probably going to vlog on um, because my camera is going to be saved for the documentary. Um, I'm also going to be taking my little microphone. So what I'm hoping to do is wear my microphone and either film my games, which I don't think I'll be able to do, but I'll record my games so you can hear me speak. But yeah, what we're going to do is have a little practice session now. It's Thursday afternoon. I've just finished work. Um, so yeah, have a little practice session. I'm going to pack the rest of my bag um, and then we'll see you tomorrow morning ready to travel up to Yorkshire. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so here is the bag. As you can see there, just some stickers, which I'm going to take. Um, show you what we've got packed. So this is what I'd pack for a weekend of darts. I have... Uh, playing shirt, number one. I'll actually show you those in a minute. Standard t-shirt. A couple more sort of standard t-shirts. Jacket in case it rains. Uh, hoodie in case it's cold. Um, I have another dark shirt, but I'm not actually taking that one now, so I can go over there. Um, some black jeans, because I always like to play in black jeans. Also some trousers, because I don't mind playing in trousers. Um, and also... In case I'm at the stage finals, I suppose. Uh, and then another two playing shirts. So, oh, look at that. Um, and then also some underwear, some socks. Um, shoes, black shoes. Um, also going to be taking my laptop so I can do a podcast out there. Do some editing of this vlog whilst I'm waiting around, I suppose. Um, and also to be able to watch from YouTube. And also, obviously, my darts and my camera equipment. So, that is everything I'm going to pack um as you can see the label's still on the jeans brand new um i didn't buy brand new jeans specifically for this event i just um just needed some jeans basically um so what we're gonna do is cancel this little recording and i'm gonna show you the plain shirts okay so here it is in all its glory a little blue number to uh represent ipswich town and obviously suffolk um as you can see, I've got a little matadordarts.com patch, a little talking tungsten patch. Uh, if we move back, the little Suffolk crown and arrows. Um, and then also a bit of Bert, which is my nickname that I've been unfortunately given. Uh, all designed by myself, sourced by myself. Um, yeah, just had the opportunity to um, get something made for I'd just run this as a test almost, just to see what the outcome was. And it actually came out pretty well. So I actually got another two um basically exactly the same one's a red version of this um one is like a dark gray and black version of this um but without the crown without the name um apart from the name is in this corner um if i turn it around if we can just somehow lay it flat which we can as you can see we've got the other side of the crown and we've also got my name which is pretty cool um Really happy about it come out actually. Um, as I said, they're all the same. Um, yeah, 
pretty decent. So we're going to be wearing those. You'll probably see me wearing those in the vlog. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I'm taking, basically. Um, what we'll do is I'll see you tomorrow at either the train station or on the train. Uh, show you the hotel room. Uh, and then we'll get out, meet some people and uh, get ready for Friday night. Okay, so quickly moving into Friday, obviously I did arrive into my hotel room. Just a quick little look around there. Pretty standard, basic hotel room, you know, bed, a little bit of a chair to sit on, a little bit of a desk, mirror, you know, that kind of standard thing. Um, had my shirts hanging up ready for the weekend and I was basically just living out of the suitcase, couldn't bother to unpack it for the sake of a couple of days. Um, yeah, pretty standard hotel room. So, moving on to Friday night, we played at the Bridlington Conservative Club. Nice little club, actually. Uh, don't really mind playing there. It's the second year I've been there. Um, I actually played there last year against Martin Moore, and you'll probably see some footage now. And I actually played quite well last year. Um, averaged like 70-something, I think, in the end. Uh, had some decent, had a decent game. Probably should have won, actually, um, but ended up losing. But, yeah. Anyway, this year, didn't play as well. It was a very long sort of day of travelling for me. Um, I left a lot earlier than last year. I think I left by like two or three hours earlier. I left at like eight in the morning. Um, and then by the time you get around to playing, which was at like 8 p.m., I'd sort of been awake, hadn't really had a nap, which I maybe should have done. Um, yeah, it just didn't play very well. Um, my opponent played really, really well. Dale, um, as you can see, first leg started off 59, 59, 26, 9, and then hit 140. Left myself on 208. He went turn 140, 91, 96, 34, took out the tops. Uh, again, second leg, ton-ton, 140, 87, 66, then took out the 8. Last leg, bit ropey, I perhaps could have pinched it, but to be honest, he was so good getting out of the blocks pretty quickly. Um, I was kind of happy with how I played, really, with the few tons I hit, um, considering how tired I was, and I averaged 62. I know I didn't really have a dart double apart from in the last leg, but um, I was actually pretty happy with how I played, considering how I was feeling. I just wanted to get back to the hotel, really, and just eat some food, so... Yeah, that was Friday night. What we're going to do now is just quickly do a review of Saturday and then take you into Sunday as well. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Um, day two. Um, played yesterday. Didn't really get too much time to get any footage just because I was so busy. Obviously warming up, um, playing, uh, and I've done some commentary as well on the Tri Nations Darts live coverage. So yeah, done a bit of... Um, commentary, thanks to Steve at Double Sixteen for allowing me to do that. May potentially doing a bit more today. I'm not 100 percent sure. So um, yeah, so today's day two. Today's the actual British Open. Yes, it was the British Classic. Um, I lost four three. Didn't play amazing. Played okay. Like didn't feel like it was an okay game, but I played all right. Um, I played against Ryan Anderson, who I think is a pretty decent player, but he didn't have his best game against me. Um, but yeah, I was 3-1 down, brought it back to 3 all. I was pretty clinical on the doubles for the most part. Um, well, at least for my standard of doubling recently. But um, yeah, it just wasn't to be last leg, just didn't play very well. He played a bit better. Um, yeah, probably deserved to lose, to be honest. Um, but today's a new day. I'm going to go and head, well, we're going to get changed, have a cup of tea, head to the venue, grab some breakfast. Uh, warm up and have a game on the try and um, get some footage of some warm ups or something. I don't know how I'll do that. Um, potentially maybe just put my phone in my pocket or something. I don't know. Um, or get someone to film me. Um, we'll see. Um, also met a few people yesterday. Met um, Jody, who I've sponsored for sort of like an event later this year, um, helping her out with social media and stuff. So it's good to meet her. Met a few other people that I know met a few others um sorry if i've missed your names out but yeah met a few people so yeah um what we're gonna do as i said get changed have a cup of tea and we'll head down to the venue hopefully we get a bit more footage today and um and then what i'll do is i'll when i get back to the hotel i'll probably review my game look at them on dark connect and just go over how i felt like i played over the course of the weekend okay so we are now uh actually back home uh we're actually a couple of weeks after the British Open now, uh, I'm just going to review my last game. Um, just because I didn't do it when I was actually at the venue, because I was actually quite busy doing something else, which was pretty cool, actually. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, some of you guys will know what that is. So I'm just going to go over this game. This is like the main British Open competition, so I'm just going to summarise it. 
Uh, so this first leg, um, let me just zoom in a touch. There we go, we'll just put it over there. So, yeah, first leg, absolutely terrible on my part, to be honest. I hit a ton and a 60, and another 60, and an 83. But in between that were like some really poor scores. Uh, ended up being a 30 dart leg. I left myself on 38. Um, I imagine I hit double one from what I remember. Uh, to leave myself 38, then had a three at 38 and missed them all. Um, so I missed out on that leg. Next leg was a bit better, 23 dart leg. Um, pretty solid, 60, 81, 96. Uh, a 140. And then I only scored 24 two bits in a row and then managed to sort of clean it up pretty quickly. My opponent got down quite quick as well. Put me under a bit of pressure. Next leg, he then won. Again, broke the throw. Decent leg, to be honest. Um, he won it in 18 darts. Um, yeah, I perhaps should have taken it out if I was a bit more clinical. Next leg, again, not bad. 24 darts. Uh, not awful. Could have been a little bit more consistent, really. I think that was sort of like the overall general premise of this match. Uh, just could have been a bit more consistent, to be honest. Um, I then took next leg in 26 darts. So again, not great, but it put me 3-2 up. And at this point, I mean, my opponent wasn't amazing, I won't lie. But uh, I wasn't playing very well, but I just thought to myself, right, just put in a couple of good legs and you'll nick one of them. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. This next leg, again, very inconsistent. You can see my opponent hit 45, 45, 43, 43, 41, 95, 35, then hit a 114 to leave tops and took it out. Put me under a bit of pressure. Um, and unfortunately, I couldn't take it out. And then the next leg, I just absolutely threw it away. 41, 15, 85, 26, 60, 40, 46, then hit a 140 to leave 48, uh, which actually wasn't terrible because he actually bust 88. Um... I left myself 48 and I felt I was pretty confident at taking out 48 because I was hitting double 16 pretty well um, sort of all weekend uh, but then he took out 88, treble 20, missed outside on double 14 and hit double 14 with his last start and it absolutely killed me I was absolutely seething at that result to be honest um, especially afterwards because this guy actually won his next game and I'm, he's not an awful player um, I think for the game he averaged like 60 yeah, same as me, but um, I just knew he was there for the taking. I knew I could have played a lot better if I could have just been a little bit more consistent. Um, and then afterwards, seeing the result, this guy actually won his next game as well, and I think he ran someone pretty close in his third game as well, so there's a good chance there for me to have a decent run. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't the case, and I did lose out. Um, but this did actually free me up to do something a little bit later on in the day. So I actually took my hand to some commentary um, on the British Open live stream. Um, I will leave some footage in here. I'm going to try and download the whole stream and just clip it up. I'm going to leave a little bit of footage in here. There's also a TikTok on my channel if you haven't seen that. Um, or a short on my channel, sorry. If you haven't seen that, it's me commentating on a Luke Little 9 dart attempt. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is actually leave you with some commentary clips. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for this little vlog of the British Open. Hopefully it done itself justice. I know it's not been the most amazing vlog. It's not really got any footage of me playing. Um, it's just been sort of like my experience, my, you know, playing the games, a bit of a review, how I'm feeling and stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I'm just going to leave you now with some commentary clips. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll hopefully be back with some more videos soon. Um, I'm going to be doing some practice games and some other bits and pieces as well. Um, if you haven't checked out the podcast, Talking Tungster, make sure you go and check that out as well. I'll be releasing that pretty regularly from now on too. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon. And I hope you enjoy the commentary. Welcome back, everyone. We are here for the British Classic Ladies Final between Dita Hedman and Alita Weiger. Just wants to place this one nicely into the double or just below does fine just below and it don't sit nice and flat you can just sit on top of this yes and does so and the fifth lead, absolutely has already Look hit to double to 12 score. in this game will he go 14 for ball he will and he finds it Luke Littler on the bullseye once again picks up another title Yes. And in Luke's 
two finals combined so far. 100% on the doubles. 7 out of 7 for Luke Littler. That is a perfect little record there. And in he goes again. <laughs> Really finding that scoring at the start of every leg, just as we expect from the new. Boys, the nine darts are on. Peter Jakes all the way back on 4 4 1, just looking to get the scoring going now. Come on, Luke. Could we see the nine darts? It would be something. Oh, yeah. miles away. My heart was beating there quite fast, I won't lie. That, that does happen. <laughs> I think my heart was probably beating faster than what Luke's was. A bit of admiration there for Luke. Leaving 100 after nine darts. <laughs> 